Hi guys, it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different, almost like a vlog style video. We are camping this week and several of you have asked me in the past when I talk about some projects I've made while camping, like how I pack for um, a camping trip or a vacation so that I can craft while I'm there, like how I, where I store my stuff when I'm here, where I craft and all that. So thought I'd take advantage of this time and kind of show you all that, how, what I packed how I decided on what to pack and where I store it in here. And then hopefully later on this week, I can also do a little bit of a process video for you, kind of a part two, and um, just kind of to show you how I work and what my process is in a much smaller space than I'm used to working in. So um, let's go on inside and I can show you all the goodies that I brought and I can even give you a little bit of a camper tour. So here is our camper, our home away from home for the week. We actually splurged and got a site that has a patio and just because it was gonna be rainy this week, we've had a lot of issues with rain the last few times we've camping and a muddy mess outside our camper. And it is windy today, so hopefully you guys can hear me. There's LA playing in the sand and there is a nice little table right here on our patio. So hopefully if we have a nice like non-windy day, I can actually sit outside and do a few things We'll take you inside. So we will head on inside. And there's Ellie. And there's our little fur babies. They enjoy camping. And I'm trying not to shake as I walk and shut the door. Okay, so you come into the door and to the left here is our kitchen. There's Avery enjoying a cool beverage. Normal camper fridge. We do have a little pantry here. And you walk down the hall and a little bathroom with a shower. And then we do have what's called a bunkhouse. And so there are the girls have kind of their own room back here in the back. There's a bunk to the left, a bunk to the right, and then like little couches that pull out into beds if we had additional kids staying with us. We've used that before. So it's nice they get their own little room and can keep all their stuff back here. Something else I thought I'd show you real quick is how I used my craft supplies to decorate our camper. So I used vinyl for each of the girls. They have their name over their bunk. And then we have labeled this the girls club. And then there's Avery's. And we do have some Halloween decorations up since it is getting close to Halloween. And here is another little storage cabinet. It's like right out our bathroom door. So we keep our towels in there. That's also where I store some of my crafty goods, which I will elaborate on. Here is another little crafty item I used. It's a metal bin I had. I took some plastic jars, put some of those little fairy lights in it, and then some flowers. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you may have seen me make this. I've made one of those on video before. Here, this is actually a tin lid that I spray painted and used vinyl to decorate. And then our fun trash can trailer trash. So here is our dining table and this is actually where I do most of my work if it's you know not nice enough to work outside or a lot of times I will work at night after the girls go to bed or early in the morning before they get up and this is where I will work. And so there is like a booth that goes around the dining table and then we have a couch. I need that's, like sister up here. Yeah, that's Macy's couch. Sometimes she lets us join her. Right, Macy. And then we do have a TV and some storage underneath for games and such. And then this is our master. Here's Sean. And then I also added a like a burlap banner up behind our bed and the vinyl that says always kiss me goodnight. And now we're back to the door. So that is our home away from home. Okay, so where Ellie's sitting underneath the booth, there's like storage. There's actually storage on both sides. So I take advantage of that space 
and bring like an iris case and that holds all of my paper items that I'm bringing to craft and then I just showed you in here in the cabinet by the bathroom oh it's heavy I have a little caddy and that's where I keep all of my tools so let me kind of change the camera angle and I can kind of show you what I packed and talk about how I pack for a camping trip. Okay, so I'm at my normal crafting spot. I usually sit here on the back side of the table. I don't know why, maybe so I can see the TV on that side. But one of the, the things that I always pack, ATG and um, trimmer because I can't do much without those two items. So then it all depends on what projects I'm working on as to what other tools I bring. But in this case, I brought a lot of ATG tape. I have a ruler. And then I am working on some cover-up dies. I like cut a bunch, die cut a bunch of pieces and parts for cover-up dies for card fronts. And so I brought a bunch of the score tape to be able to adhere that easily. I brought one border punch, it's just a scallop border, just in case I wanted to add some interest to any of the cards that I might make. Oh, I have glue sticks for girls, the girls, in case they needed to craft with anything, because we're going to be working on our travel journals while we're here. And then I always bring circle punches, because it always seems like I need circles when I'm crafting. So I brought just a variety of scallop circles and regular circles, different sizes, just so I can layer if I need to. And then my trusty little quarter rounder. Uh, what else do I have in here? Black ink, just standard black ink and some, a uh, couple of stamp blocks. Scissors, big scissors, little scissors. Art glitter glue, tweezers for little pieces and parts, and then a bone folder because I have a bunch of card spaces, card bases to score. And that's it, I believe, for my tool caddy. Um, a lot of it, there's just a bunch of circle punches in there. So next, I'll show you what I brought in my iris case. That's the fun part of the stuff I actually get to work on. Okay, so in my little craft kit here of my my fun paper goodies, I have some white cardstock because you always need that. Uh, this is a quarantine journal that I'm working on, and I just brought it because I'm way behind on the actual journaling. So I hope to work on that while we are here. And then I brought the baggy a baggy. A baggie with all of my card sketches so that I can flip through as needed and see what kind of card I want to make. And then these are card bases that I need to score before I can really do anything else. And I am working on the Pink Boo pad, so I'm really hoping to finish it up this week. So that is what I focused on packing for. I brought, this is all the scraps that I have left of the pattern paper. and. I went through right before we left and used my my favorite things dies the um, cover-up dies and just made the frame cut out the frames and then a bunch of squares and pieces parts that go into them so all I have to do is just put the cards together so I have three different ones here that I have prepped and I just bagged them all together so I didn't have to sort through them this week when I wanted to use them. So I should hopefully be able to get through these cards pretty quick and then can hopefully start working on tackling the rest of my pink boot scraps. So then the rest of what's in here is just stuff that goes along with the pingaboo pad, just things I might need. These are sentiments, whoop, sentiments, <laughs> good thing the candle's not lit, sentiments and embellishments for the cards. There's like a hole in the bottom. And then I brought some of the stickers and stamp sets that I've been using throughout in case I need anything additional. 
And then I do have just cardstock. There's a bunch of cardstock scraps in here of the colors that I've been using so far. So I just threw all of that in here so I can make card mats and other matting pieces and all that. So that is what I brought to work on. That's what I packed. And when I'm packing for a camping trip, as far as my craft supplies, I always try to think about what it is I want to get done while I'm there. There was a point where I would bring just everything I could fit. And we are lucky that we do have a good amount of storage space in our camper, but I have tried to get better in the past few years about focusing on what projects I really want to work on and what do I need for those projects. Now, I still kind of overestimate the amount of time I'm going to have when I'm camping for crafting, but I would rather pack too much to do than not enough. So that's kind of how I decide what to pack. And then as far as the tools, you know, I bring the essentials and then just, I do, if I have room, bring some other stuff I think that I might need or would be helpful, like all the circle punches. So, but that's it. Hopefully I can get some crafting done this week. I really need it mentally. I haven't gotten to craft much lately and I'm looking for a fun and relaxing vacation week and hopefully crafting will be a little bit a part of that. So that is it for us and our camping trip. And thanks for coming along with us. If you have any questions about anything, please just let me know. Otherwise, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye.